Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and we're doing a little bit more in the Brodery mini album today. So for those people who might not be aware, the Brodery mini album is made from uh, SVG files which are scalable vector graphic files which you use with cutting machines like a Cricut, a Silhouette or a Brother Scanning Cut for example. And I've created this little book and um, this little book shows uh, all of the different uh, pieces that come in the SVG files. So there's 30 files, but hundreds actually, hundreds of pieces. So all of the um, main pieces like the pockets, the pages, the flips, those sorts of things are all cut up out of cardstock and those pieces are in the blue. And then the mats for all the pieces are in the pink. And I've given everything an alphanumeric little code just so hopefully I can explain myself easily and you can follow along easily. So we are going to um, pick out some pieces here to finish off some bits in our album. But first of all, I wanted to tell you that the card stock that I'm using today is this cream card stock by Recollections which is 65 pounds or 176 GSM and that's what I'm cutting all the main pieces out of and then I'm matting those pieces with this digital paper collection from Knitwit's collection called Always and Forever and I print it out on this wallet style so that I can easily choose which pieces of paper um, I might want to print out or the pieces of ephemera that I might want to cut out with my Cricut so it's just a handy sort of a reference guide and I will put the link um, in the description box below to this collection um, so that you can go over and have a look at that yourself or any of the other collections and I will also put a link in the description box below to my Etsy store where you can purchase the Brodery mini album SVG files if you're interested. So we have been working on this album. It's a seven inch by seven inch album with a three inch spine. And this is the size that you can make using the uh, SVG files if you don't do any scaling because the beauty of um, SVG files is that you can scale them up and make them bigger. So instead of being a seven inch, you might make a 10 inch or something like that. So that's one of the beauties of the SVG files and why these ones are quite versatile. So anyway, we are making this album and we have now finished all of the pages, which I'm pretty wrapped about. So here's the pages so far. We've got waterfalls, little flip out envelopes, corner pockets, a little fancy sort of corset page there. We have a fancy frame in here and pockets, two different kinds of waterfalls and some flips and belly bands and all sorts of things in here. We still need to do the inside covers and a few little bits and pieces before we can get to the inserts and tags um, and embellishing it. So I thought we would start by doing the inside covers today. So for this front inside cover, I have cut some pieces and let me show you what I've cut out. I have cut out these pieces here. Just move the album to the side for a bit of room. Right, so let's go through and I'll show you what I've cut out. I've cut out one of these cover and spine mats, A3. Now, normally I would cut it out of um, um, scrapbook paper, but I've decided that I'm just gonna go with the plain cardstock for the inside cover because it's gonna have a pocket and I can tuck things in it. So I'm just gonna stick with cardstock for that. And then we're going to make an accordion pocket to go in the front. So let me show you that. It must be right at the back, yes it is. So for the accordion pocket, I have cut out, I'll get this page to lay flat. I have cut out two pieces of R1. So that's these two pieces here. And of course my Cricut has already um, has cut it out and has done all the scores for me. So all I've done is folded it, 
and um, inked along um, around the edges of that. So I have two of those. And then I have one of these pieces R2, which is this one here, and I have also inked up around that one. Then I have one of these pieces R4, which is this one here. So I've already inked that one up and folded on those um, score lines. And I have one piece of this R5 here, which is going to be the top flap fold for our accordion pocket. And then I have also cut out some mats. So over here I've cut out two of the R6 mats. That's those two here. And then I have cut out one R7 mat, which is this one here. So that's what we're going to use for the inside front cover. So let's do that. So I'll just pop that away. And we don't actually need to do any cutting or anything like that. We can move straight on to doing some matting. So this is going to be our front piece, which we are going to attach. Is that right? Yes. Or is this the back? I can't remember. No, this is the front piece, which we are going to attach to the back piece using our little accordion pieces. But before we do that, let's put a mat on here. So this is this one here. We can just pop that straight down on there. The less mats I have to deal with, the better. It's actually been a while since I've made one of these accordion pockets, so uh, let's muddle through. Let's put that one aside, because that's the back. This one's the front. Right, and I'm getting to the end of my bottle of glue. And I could go out and buy some more, but it is so hot outside. And I don't want to go out in that heat. I do have an air-conditioned car, but I still don't want to go anywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this one down here, on here, like this. And that's done. And then I'm going to put the top mat on this one here. So that's this one here. I should get out my um, my protective mat because I tend to get glue everywhere. So let's do this. Pop this one down. Oops, see glue. Let's line that up. Press it down. Perfect. Now we are going to attach the. Yeah, I'm going to get out my mat because. I don't trust myself to be neat and not spill things everywhere. So this is just a piece of clear plastic and I bought it from the hardware store which in Australia here most of them are Bunnings stores and I purchased it. It's actually a shelf protector for people who protect shelves. My shelves, they're living on the edge. Okay, so this one here, we're going to attach to this pocket here at the top because it's going to flip over like so. So let's do that right now. Oh, I should have inked, hang on. I should have inked on the inside here too because I forgot that it's a flip. So just one second while I do a bit of inking. Um, I don't know, amuse yourselves, talk amongst yourselves while I ink. <laughs> um, I thought I'd done everything that I could beforehand, but you always forget something, don't you? Okay. Just get a little bit of ink on there. Just a little bit. Not get too fussy about it. That'll be good. Okay, now we really shall attach it to the back piece. So I'm just going to slide that tab in there, line it up, to do it sideways, sorry. Don't want to go over that uh, score line at the back there, so I'm just going to line that up, press it down. Turn it over and make sure that it's really 
chrome stock and that is our top pocket or little flip on that envelope accordion envelope right then we need to attach this one here and we're going to attach it along this bottom section here this tab onto that bottom section so I've just folded over this tab so that we don't get that in the way I'm just going to uh, put some glue on here and attach that one come on here we go and I'm going to line that up down here where I'm happy with it around me. Push that one down nice and firmly and then we that's sort of the basis of our accordion pocket. And before we put the little side pieces in I would like to organise my closure. And uh, I've been doing the policy envelope closures in this album and I think I might just keep going with that. So I have these little brads. Actually they're really big brads. Look at those and I'm going to use my punch and I need four little circles. So I had a piece of scrap cardstock here. Here we go. So I have done this twice before, so I probably don't need to explain too much. I'm going to join these together to make two circles. And then I'm going to put a hole in the middle of each of them and a brad and then I'm going to attach them to the envelope flip oh it uh, got glue everywhere people it had to happen <laughs> it's because it's got to the bottom the end of the glue it's got really super stringy so I'm just going to Brush that down, make sure it's pretty well stuck. And same with this one, come here and stick that one down. And do the same there. Just get the glue off the sides. And then I'm going to ink around the edges. My fingers are already pretty inky because I was doing a bit of inking before we started. So I apologise for my yucky brown fingers. But you know, if you're a crafter, then you'll always have dirty hands anyway. Inky or painty, gluey, always gluey for me. And I'm going to find what I think is the middle. Never is, but I'm going to try. And I get out my leather punch. Stack these up. Try to. I didn't do a very good job of inking this one. Missed a whole edge. Okay, I'm going to stack them up and try and put the poles in them at the same time if I have enough strength. Oh, that sounded positive. Yes, look at that. Oh. Okay, so then I have two little discs, two little brads, and somewhere I have got some gold string. So I have been using this gold string all the way through our album. I don't honestly think I use gold very often so um, this is quite different for me. Now I'm going to line these up like so and then I'm going to decide where they're going so this would be the center point so I think I'll put it right here and then if I just follow that down maybe about here I'm really roughing it, which I hate doing. Okay, let's just do it. 
I'm going to put a hole in this one with my leather punch. It didn't quite go through. I have an awl somewhere which I'm going to need for my bottom, so excuse me while I fish around in the mess beside me that you can't see. But it's most definitely here and I can't find it. Uh, did I put it away? That would seem strange. Oh, it's on the other side of me. Sorry. Okay. It's my awl. I'm going to poke a little hole in this bottom section here. Maybe a bit bigger. And just poke that through because that stuff will come out. Okay. So, on this one, this is our bottom section. I'm just going to slide that brad with that um, little circle in there. These are really chunky brads, but I had them and I wanted to use them, so that's why we have these. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little bit of sticky tape over that to prevent anything getting um, stuck on those prongs. And then for this top section, we're going to thread this bit of uh, string in here. And again, I'm going to use a bit of tape. This. Oops, I'm making such a mess. Okay, and I'm just going to stick that down like so. And then flip it back over and put my bread through my circle and put the circle up at the brad through the hole, flip it over and pop those prongs down again, I can get them, there we go, I'm not going to worry about tape on that one because we are going to put a mat there which let's do right now. Let's get rid of some of this stuff because I am making a mess everywhere. Just that all off to the side. Okay, here's our second mat for this top uh, flip for the accordion pocket. And we can pop that on top and hide that brad. I'm just going to fiddle around with it and get it where I want it to be. Squash it down. There we go. Okay, so these little tabs here we're going to use to attach it to our inside cover. So I'm just going to put those to the back so they don't interfere with us. And with these little things here, we're going to fold them up in an accordion style or a cadenza style if you can see what I mean. Just folding it backwards and forwards over each other like so. And then with the tabs on each side we are going to attach those to the sides of our um, back piece of our album. So. To do that, I'm going to put some glue on this tab. I actually want it to go this way. So I'm going to put some glue on this tab. Just because I want the bit that I've inked to be on the outside. And then I'm going to just attach that to the side as best I can. Which might be a little difficult to show you. But I will just, I'm just laying that tab down right along the side of that, between this score line at the bottom and between the, at, where they've been attached, those two pieces have been attached at the top. And I'll press it down. A bit glue there. Right, so it folds over like so. And let's just burnish that down. And we have one little side ready to go and then we can do the same on this side so this 
uh, tab here is going to have some glue on it. Come on, glue. And I'm going to attach that on the side, on the other side, in this much the same way. Well, in the same way, in fact. Between where we joined these two pieces at the top and between this first score line at the bottom. I'm going to fold it over and make sure it's lined up on the edge. And when I'm happy with that, a really firm press. And again, I have glue everywhere. Okay, so we've got this funny wing situation going on here and all we're going to do is credenza both sides up like so, attach, um, put some glue on this tab and the same on this side and then flip our top, our um, front section up and then we have an envelope. So let's try doing that without looking like we have feet instead of hands. So far so good. Alright, so I'm going to fold it over and attach this tab to this top section, lining it up with that top part there, making sure that it's lined up nicely with the side and then press it. And I'm doing the same on this side lining that up and the corners there, making sure it's in line with the side of my front pocket piece and pressing it. Mm, cute. Right, so then I'm just going to make sure that this is nicely attached. Ta-da! One little credenza pocket. So I think they're fabulous for the inside of an album because um, if you don't get a chance to insert something, you can just quickly stick it in this little pocket and come back to it later. Or you can put your ticket stubs or whatever it is that you might have. Invitations, tiny little photos, anything. So this little bit here is a bit long. Let's just trim that a little bit down and then we can put it inside the album. So let's bring the, the album over and the inside cover and my piece of cardstock that I've cut which I have inked around and it's just going to go down like so. So we can do that. My glue going, give it a shake, and get some glue out. Come on, I'm really getting low. Okay, so. Going to line that up where I want it to be. Place it down and lining it up with the top and bottom of the binding piece so that it fits nicely there. And give it a firm press. And I may not have put enough glue in down the bottom here. It, and it's also, I'm sticking it to. Um, wallpaper so that might make it a bit trickier. I um, might just see if I can sneak a bit of extra glue in here. If I can get it to come out. Right, let's try that again. Probably have too much now. Okay, I'm going to squish it over this way a bit. There we go much better. There's a little bit of something stuck in there. Okay, 
so then I'm going to put my little accordion pocket right here and it's a force, it's um, an envelope, accordion envelope. If we use these flaps to attach it, then we can also slide things down in there behind it. So I think it's going to go right about there. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to put some glue on these tabs and stick her in. One side and the other and then along here and we'll keep it towards the bottom and uh, but not all the way to the bottom and maybe a little bit towards the outside so it doesn't get too involved with anything along here and stick it down. I'm pushing down here because that's where the tab is and pushing down on here because that's where that tab is. And there we go. Now I've done a really bad job of this. Just do that up properly. Still can't do it up properly. Oh, this is a lesson in how not to do up those little policy envelope things. Okay, there we go. We'll have to go around again. Why not? All right. So there's our little envelope pocket. A little in. Look, accordion envelope with a little pocket that goes down the back. So let me grab this little tag. You can see we can get lots of things in there as well as in our accordion envelope. So that's what all I'm going to do for the front um, uh, inside cover uh, until we get to put some inserts and tags in there. And I'm going to be very simple for the back cover. So let's go over to the back cover where I have cut out another one of the cover uh, mats which I'm going to attach here. So that is, let's have a look. Right at the front, that is an A3 piece right there. So again, I'm just using the cardstock this time. Really getting to the end of that. Right, and I'm going to line it up with the spine piece, or with the binding piece at the top and bottom here, and then just push it out to where I would like it to sit, and give it a good bash. Hold it in place. The glue came out. Of course, you don't have to use glue. You could use um, double-sided tape. But I'm just, I like glue. I don't like the mess I make with glue, but I like glue. Okay, and then I was just gonna do something simple on the back here, and I thought I would just put in a little corner pocket that I have already cut out. So this is in our book as well. If we flip over to this file, which is called Bits and Pieces, I have cut out this piece here, J1, which is a corner pocket, but I've just flipped it over when I cut it on my Cricut. I mirrored it or flipped it, and I did the same at the same time with the mat, which is J13. So I have those two, and I've already inked those on. So I'll just push this to the side, put the mat on here. Come out. Oh, I could. There's lots of different things we could do on the on the inside back cover, but um, I just thought I'd keep it simple this time because we have that fancy accordion um, envelope in the front. So I'll just pop that on there. Then put some glue on these two tabs. 
and stick it out. One and two. Right, just bring that out and back and decide where it's going and pop it down and kind of line it up with the edge of that um, mat that I've already put there. Give it a good squish and that's our inside back cover. Pretty plain and simple but we can put some things in there so you know we'll just jazz it up with some inserts I think. Okay so that's our six pages inside cover uh, front and back so we're certainly getting there. Now a couple of other things uh, that I have cut out that I would like to show you. Uh, where is it? Let's grab our book and I would like to show you some pieces that I've cut out. Let's start at the beginning here. I have cut out five of these pieces here, B3 binding mats, and that's these little guys here. I have five of those, and they are just going to get glued down right here on this center piece, just to jazz that up a bit. So I'll just stick one down for now, because well, you can see me stick one down, you can see me that you know, it's not going to change for the other four. But I'm just going to put a bit of glue on here. And I've got such sticky fingers. Then I'm just going to line that up there and there. like so and that is just a nice little finishing piece to go down that naked strip of cardstock there. So I'm going to do that between all of my pages. So, Okay, um, the video stopped recording while I was busy chatting and I didn't notice so I thought I'd better just go back and say again what I said to nobody at all. But, um, so I was saying about putting these middle strips in here um, and that I've gone through and done that. But as you can see, I've also gone through and added this little strip down here. So I just thought I would show you which piece that was in the um, little booklet that I have here. So it's in the bits and pieces and it's this piece here, J6. So I've cut out 12 of those, one for each page, and they, at this size, just fit perfectly in that little page gusset here. So if we have a little quick flip through, you can see that I have attached that on the little page gusset all the way through. And I have also got some stuff on there, but I, so I've also put that binding strip um, matting in here and then the little lace uh, page gusset here so and I've done that all the way through so now uh, in the next video we'll do some inserts and tags and then decorate the front cover so thanks very much for joining me today sorry that was a little bit disjointed if you're interested you can pick up my uh, SVG files from my Etsy store and I'll put the description box um, in the I'll put the link in the description box uh, below uh, I hope to see you again whilst we finish off this um, album. Thanks very much for your time, guys. Bye for now. Bye.